Yo, 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 what's happening? It's your man, OG Bo Beats TV. Coming to you today, another special video. What's good? What's happening, YouTube? It's your man, OG Bo Beats. And I'm back with another video for you today. So today I got some very dope, special shoes that I couldn't wait to get my hands on. But apparently, a lot of other people decided to pass on. Crazy. We're going to talk about it. We're going to jump into it. And I got a couple surprises for you. So... Without further ado, let's get right into it. It's your man, OG Bo Beast. Please make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, share the video, leave a comment, let me know how you feel about it, and we're going to do it like that. All right, boom! So check it out, check it out. So right here, we got this very cool, cool, all black box with the royal blue Nike sign on it. So as y'all probably already know, right, this is uh, Air Jordan 1, typically, uh in this box right here so right without further ado let's go ahead and talk about it so i have the air jordan one retro high og royal reimagined okay so very dope shoe go ahead let's uh check out the label on the box all right so colorway is black royal blue size 11 my size so very very dope shoe this shoe released november 4th right very very recently dropped on sneakers you could get it on exclusive access through finish line and jd sports of course it was on the foot locker apps and the sports champs apps it was on dick sporting goods i'm pretty sure um it was on a lot of different apps all right so either way shoe retail for 180 because you know that's the current price of jordan ones so when I initially saw this shoe, I was like, man, I've been seeing this shoe for a while. And it was like, oh, this is going to be one of them ones. This going to be one of them ones. And I mean, we got to the release date. I actually got my pair at JD Sports. Um, I got exclusive access. I was already going to be in the areas out of town. So I drove. It was like an hour away. I go in there. Uh, I said, hey, I'm here to pick up my res my reservation. I won the, uh, the, the shoes on the raffle or whatever, the exclusive access. And the girl behind the counter just kind of looked at me and was like, oh, yeah, yeah, what size you wear? <laughs> and I was like, what? So I knew from that that, like, nobody got these shoes and anybody could have won the raffle. Uh, because usually when you go do that, they checking off names. They asking for ID. They didn't care about none of that. They was like, what size you wear? She went and got them. And to be honest with you, I was in the middle of something. And I didn't even look at the shoe until later on when I got home. But enough of that. So the re-image is a dope concept that Jordan brand came out with to uh, re-bring out some other shoes, re-release some shoes, some OGs. And I think it's a dope concept. So it started with, y'all ready for this? Boom! It started with the Air, G, the Air Jordan 1 lost and founds now this was a very very highly sought after shoe obviously because of the chicago colorway and just the originality of being jordan's first shoe that he pretty much wore uh with the, with this shoe right here with the lost and found they did some little some some older vintage stuff on the uh on the top of the the back tab right here i mean they got the cell colorway the box was all you know used and vintage looking they had the newspaper in it it was cool these was reselling for 500 bucks. I actually paid resale for these because I had to have them. That's how serious it was, all right? Then moving along, I don't know if it was earlier this year, I think it was, but then another OG classic came out in the reimagined theme and boom, Air Jordan 3 White Seaman, right? Another classic, like, oh, I gotta have these right here. Nike Air on the back, got the little cell colorway on the back tab. I mean, just a very clean, clean shoe, right? Can't beat it. I had to have it. Re-imaged. I actually wore this shoe. This is the only shoe I've worn out of my re-imaged collection. Very dope. So then we, we move along to the OG Royals, all right? So let's go ahead and check them out. All right, white paper in the box. I'm not even going to show you none of that. For some reason, though, they wrap each shoe individually. I don't know what that's about, but whatever. So um, let me get a good look at the shoe again before I show it to y'all. All right. It, just a clean shoe, man. Y'all ready? Here we go. Boom! Check it out. Check it out. Air Jordan 1 Royal 
reimagined. All right, so very clean, very dope shoe. Like me personally, I have zero issues with these shoes. I feel like that the influence on social media with a lot of these so-called sneakerheads is so deep that when they start to hear certain people say, ah, I don't, I'm not going for it, I don't want it. Like it's people out there that can sway the influence and the, and the resale value and all of that. So we've been knowing that it's nothing new. That's why I just say, buy what you like, right? So this shoe, first of all, I'm a big fan of just different materials. I love the regular genuine leather on certain sneakers when it's plush leather, but I've always been a big fan of suede. I've said that on several videos. So when I saw that these were all suede, like I just had to have them. So um, like I said, November 4th, these came out. And uh, currently right now, these are sitting like ducks. Like this may be one of the biggest, if you want to call them bricks, which I don't, but according to how they're selling, like right now on the Nike app, it's a full size run. 100% that these will be going on sale. Okay, and I might just double up like straight up so this shoe right here is a classic og colorway the first royal actually released back in 85 when the air jordan one came out when jordan first started wearing them and then in 2017 they re-released in a couple different versions like they had a fly knit version i don't know who got that but then they had the og version as well with the with the leather so this right here is the like i said the latest release of this shoe and I just think it's a dope shoe. So let's do a quick review. So on the bottom or the outsole of the shoe, you have an all royal blue outsole, nothing new there, okay? Midsole, you have a white, not sale, midsole. All right, and then the upper is all suede with a black base. You got the royal blue on top of the toe box. You got the royal blue swoosh. Right, then you got on the heel, you got the Royal Blue. All right, you got the Jordan Wings logo in black. You got a black tongue with the, what they call it, this nylon or whatever they call this material, mesh or whatever. And then on top of it, you got the Royal Blue Nike Air Tag, no surprises there. This came with a pair of Royal Blue laces, right? I'm digging that, because every shoe doesn't come with a pair, but these are the OGs. Inside the shoe, you know, black sock liner, and of course, Royal Nike Air on the insole, so nothing too special there. I mean, if you've seen one Jordan, you've seen them all forever in a day. But this is a special shoe to me. I dig it, I love it, I'm rocking with it. So comment down below, let me know how you feel about this shoe. I'm trying to figure out why people don't want this shoe. Like, people are trying to act like they're such a OG sneakerheads that they gotta have the original, the original Royals. And I'm like, well, if you didn't get the original Royals, this is a must have right here. So, somebody tell me, man. Leave a comment, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'ma just leave it at that, man. Uh, like I said, the threes dropped. Then we have the lost and founds. It's your man, OG Bo Beach, man. I appreciate you watching. You know, uh, more videos coming soon. Let me know what y'all trying to see. You know what I'm saying? I get stuff early sometime. It is what it is. Uh, but I'm going to always give you the review no matter when I get the shoe. So, like I said, subscribe to the channel. I'll let your boy. I'm out. Peace.